Hi everyone, so today I have a sponsored video for you from Tonic Studios for their uh, Magical Music bo Gift Box die set. Uh, they did send these items free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own. Any links have a description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So as you know, I get samples so it looks totally different than what you might receive there. You're going to have this on a nice magnetic carrier in one of their plastic like um, kind of pouches and uh, with you know some instruction and uh, just packaged really nicely okay guys so I just want to show you the uh, dies themselves and by now um this launched with their March Madness sales. It's still available. There are still some really great deals on their March Madness sale available also. Uh, I suppose it depends on when you watch Excuse this, but if you're watching So like I said, it depends on when you're watching this, I suppose, but if you're watching as soon as I upload this video and release it, um, those sales will still be there, and I'll go ahead and link them in the description box. Um, along with this one, they came out with a really fun Ferris wheel. Um, so cute. It looks like it's holding, like, well, the little Ferris wheel, like, seats um, or baskets however uh, you can put little treats in them and then they have a new my memory book album that has like a case which is really fun um, so several different things and I'll link all those things there in the description box for you guys uh, in the US and the UK and so this guy makes an amazing I mean magical yes uh, I do have a little printout again and not like the packaging you will receive but uh, you'll have this m much larger and then of course with some instruction and I mean it is super adorable by now maybe you've seen their videos or other tutorials so I think today what I'm going to do is not focus on making the box so much but making like um, like a dimensional card I think that'd be really fun um, I love the ballerina her little outfits she has a couple different dresses you can put on her um, it does have an ability for you to move the ballerina and so she kind of spins around and things. So there's just a lot going on with this box. Super cute. This one's all drawers. If you want to do it that way, you don't even have to put the little ballerina in there. But um, today we're going to focus on her, some of this background stuff, what looks like the curtains, and make a, a card. Okay? So just really gorgeous. Um, these are the dies. I'll give you some measurements in case you haven't seen some of the info so you'll know if this works for your die cutting machine or not. Uh, it looks like this is the largest die here, and it is a just about it's like right at five inches cutting edge to cutting edge um by uh just over five and a half i would say five and like nine sixteenths you know in the other direction so that is the largest die and everything else obviously would be smaller from there um again to make your box you have all these pieces you have little feet you can put on the bottom of the box and different uh, styles you have different pulls for your drawers obviously it makes the drawers and things like that this is the piece i believe that helps you if you want her to move around you can use this and it'll just kind of pull her around and it looks like she's kind of spinning in there which is really cute um you know, side pieces. We have this cute little dangle that we'll definitely use today. Uh, we have the word dream with a background piece, so we'll probably use that for our sentiment. Um, you know, again, accenting these areas. So you have your, like, corners and, you know, uh, not so much inlays on these. This this is an inlay, but this is like an actual strip you can put on top. This one has a, you know, panel to put on top. It also has an inlay. Inlays all over. Uh, really, really gorgeous on this one here. And so we're going to focus on this piece. I probably won't use this outer die because I don't need to, but if you wanted to, I you know, suppose you can use that. Um, maybe even fold it over and make it like a pouch kind of thing. Hmm. But I believe I'll be using these pieces. I'm not sure, but I think so. <laughs> so we have that guy. We have this piece that makes it look like little stars, and she's kind of in there with a the little curtain. It has like some embossability there. Uh, we have our ballerina, which we will use. And then she also has some embossing, so I suppose if you just want to do that, great, get, you know, good to go. But she also has some dresses, so this one, uh, like a little strapless top, right? Super cute. And then this one has the little tank top straps, also very adorable. I think today we'll go with this one. I guess I'll use this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the words, but I don't want to bring those out quite yet. So I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to think a little bit about how big I want to make my card. So if I look at this... And it doesn't have an edge, right? This is like an inlay, but it does cut this uh, aperture here. So let's see how tall this is. This is like five and a quarter by almost four and a half. Now let me think. If I made this four and a quarter, let me see how big that would be. Um, it would be very thin on the edges, but that might work. I think I'll still make this four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to cut a piece that this is basically going to be our outer piece. These guys are going to layer behind, and then we'll have our, our ballerina and, like, some other little extra bits. So let me cut a piece of paper down to be our first, like, layer of our card, and I'll be right so back. So I grabbed the standard A2 size card base. This is, um, again, 8.5 by 5.5 scored at 4.25. And, 
And on that, uh, we'll have this guy. And this is exactly four and a quarter by five and a half. Well, exactly as I eyeballed it, right? <laughs> on a guillotine. Um, what I'm going to do is take this guy. And I'm going to run that through. And kind of like here, maybe. You know, I want it right on the edge, you know, centered left to right. But leaving a little space at the bottom and a little bit on the top. Of course, this is the only area that's going to get cut out. So we have left is this here. So I'll put some tape and I'll run that through. And then uh, we'll move on with our other pieces, which I uh, probably still cut down. So I grabbed some vellum because I thought it might be a nice layer to add. And I have this gold. So I'm going to cut both of these down to four and a quarter by five and a half also. And then we'll play with these kind of other pieces. So I'll be right back. Section there. And then we have this piece. And it should leave us like a little frame. And you can definitely make this into a square. This is a little more squarish, you know. A square card would be nice. We have this piece that's going to be like our outermost, you know, piece there. And then we have, I'll do the gold next, I think. And if this was here and they are perfectly aligned, I'm just using this as an aperture. I did cut the the second layer of this gold piece and then the vellum a little bit smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half just so that I wouldn't have to like really have them right on top of each other to make it look really nice so we're gonna take this piece and this piece does not cut the edge it just cuts this inner portion and it has the little stars that are gonna be all cut out really adorable so I'm just gonna lay this here just so I kind of have an idea where that is gonna be at that looks good and I'm going to run this piece through, and then we'll do another one with the vellum, okay? So I'm just going to take that, I'm going to run this through, and I'll be right back. And there you go, look at that. Okay. So pretty. And then again, we can do this again with the vellum. What I was thinking for the vellum one, just so it wouldn't just be right behind, it'll give us a layer, but if you put it right behind the same way, the same orientation, you probably won't notice it as much. Ooh, if you're making a shaker, how cute would it be to put these little... Uh, stars back in. Let me just clean this out. Whenever you go to do another die cutting, it's always nice to clean it out because leaving paper in those little spaces can make it so maybe sometimes the new paper won't really settle in there real well. Um, okay, so we have this one and this one, and then we have our vellum. That looks pretty just like that, right, with the ballerina in front. I want to see if I turn this way, it'll give me a different texture, and I think it will. So, uh, I'm just going to eyeball this one since it's not the same anymore. I mean, I guess what I could do is move this. And it actually doesn't really matter when I use it. I'll just turn my vellum right the other the other way. So just so that we have an idea that we're in the right ballpark. <laughs> so I'll put that there. I'll put this here and I'm going to run it through. And I'll be right back. Those little stars are so pretty. So again, this is kind of what I was envisioning. This. And then this, and then like I said, we did this one the same, but maybe if we just turn it, see how it gives a different look. So you can see more of the little stars. That'll be very cute. Now let's see, we have this here. Ooh, let's do a background. Oh, you know what? I think I have some paper that has like a wood grain to it. I think that'll be really cute in the background. So I'm going to cut down, yeah, this paper right here. Um, just have that wood look in the background. I don't know why not. So I'll cut this down to four and a quarter by five and a half, or just roughly about that uh, size. And then we're going to have these little guys dangling here. These are so pretty. Um, you know what? Let's cut this from like a shiny gold. So I just we need one strip. Um, and then we'll focus on our ballerina. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this piece. I haven't taken it out yet. Look how delicate and pretty that is. So cute. So we'll pop this guy out very carefully in just a minute. Um, and then we have our layers. So let's go ahead and think about what where is that we're doing. Oh, you know what? Yeah. No. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking about how I want to layer this, and then obviously we have our ballerina and things. So let me go ahead and put this down. And I think the gold and the vellum, because it is vellum, I'm going to glue together. And like I said, I made this just a little bit smaller so I wouldn't fight with like end edges that maybe are a little bit off or whatever. So you can see a little bit of the white edge of the card. And then this guy for sure will be popped up. I feel like this should be popped up. So we're going to have two layers maybe? You know? I think that'll be good. And then, even though this has a lot of dangle to it, I think I'm just going to put it in the background so that the ballerina is like a little bit over it. So I'm going to glue these two together. Oopsie. Let 
If you want to, you can sandwich the ballerina when we cut her out in between these two layers so she's kind of more up in front. Right? Ooh, should we do that? Uh, it's okay, but you can. I'm just going to go ahead and stick these two together. There's some space in there, actually, where I put the glue for me to put her in there if I decide that. So those are one layer. So we up a little bit, and then this layer will be removed a little bit from that layer. And then we'll have our ballerina. So let me run this through maybe a cream color, and then her little uh, tutu through something that kind of coordinates back to what I have going. Okay, now I'll be right back. I'm just kind of playing with this a little bit. It's so pretty. Uh, and then we have this guy here. And again, if you wanted to get that little embossing on the tutu, I'm going to cover it up with another one. This one I definitely ran through, so get the embossing. And we're just going to pop her little dress on. Really cute. I'm just going to glue that down. And I did glue her tutu a little bit higher so you can see some of the crinkling from the layer before, just so that it looks like it's a little more full. I'm going to put some um, dimensional adhesive behind that, and I just want to see if I was going to put her in here or not. Remember how I said that I had left that kind of open? Oh yeah. Okay, so let's glue her in there, but at the same time, we're going to put some dimensionals on the back whenever we go to put this down. So let's just put her right there for now. That's really cute. And then just kind of eyeballing where those little dangles should go. Oh, I love it. And just a little something on the back here. Maybe you can let them kind of float. But Hold on. Let's bring this back over here. Just to have an idea of where those should be. That looks really great. A little bit higher up. Okay, and I'm going to put dimensional on the back of both of these. Um, this one I think I'll put a little bit thicker dimensional, and then on this one I'll put a little bit thinner dimensional, just so it's a little bit less high than like this would be from the background, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the same dimensional on the back of her as I did on the edges here. I'm going to get this a little bit closer to me so I can see, make sure I'm putting this down where I need it to be. Like that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't take the carrier off the back of her, so let me just do a little something here and get that off. I was like, oh, she's moving around. Well, I guess we could leave her that way, but I'm just going to stick that down. There we go. Now, these guys, I think I removed all the carriers. I'm going to bring this close to me, sorry, just so I can make sure I'm right on top here. And I was not. <laughs> and it wants to stick already. There, there, there. Nope. A little more this way. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. And with those two dimensionals, I mean, this is probably maybe a quarter inch. I would say less than a quarter inch thick. I just want to make sure everything sticks here. Sorry, guys. And there's our card. Again, not super thick. But it does have some layers, so you can see everything kind of goes through with that little vignette. That is really pretty. I love how delicate she is. Look at the little uh, star lined up with the other star. Um, I love the little vellum, kind of more ethereal. Really, really cute. So we will take our lettering and just finish off our card. So um, again, dream and then this little background. So since I have this background piece, maybe I'll make it the same color as her tutu just to bring some of that in. And then some gold. And I'll be right back. I'm, sorry. I'm just in love with this. This is so cute. I love the colors. I just love the way it looks. Anyhow, so let's get this guy. And then our little very delicate dream. I'll put some glue in the back of my hand. Just to get this guy down. So pretty. And then I'll probably just glue this down directly. So anyhow, I mean, I'm just kind of eyeballing that. Look how that font is just so pretty. Okay, let me hold that down for a little bit and I'll be right back. A little bit of dimension because I know I'm going to kind of have it hanging off in this layer. I'm going to put some glue here. Yeah, I mean, this can go anywhere. I'm going to put it in this top corner, I think. Oh, is it right in that little hole? <laughs> it is. Let's move it over just a little bit. Okay. 
I'm gonna hold that down and I'll be right back. Right, so there's our card. I mean, this worked up really quickly, uh, you know, as little or as much as you like to decorate. It makes an amazing box. So pretty, so cute. Again, you can make it so that your little ballerina twirls in there or just leave her stationary or, you know, all drawers, a combination of drawers, like all these different ways to make the box itself. I encourage you to check out uh, Tonic's site because I believe on their live um, video, uh, Jody put one together so you can see exactly all the steps to make your box. Um, but for now, I made this really sweet dimensional card. I think it came out really, really nice. So thanks for watching, guys. I have uh, images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.